On India's 75th Independence Day, that is 15th August 2021, Prime Minister Narendra Modi had announced the launch of National Hydrogen Mission, NHM, with an aim to make India a global hub for green hydrogen production and export. This would not only help India to make new progress in the field of energy self-reliance, but will also become a new inspiration for clean energy transition all over the world. Green hydrogen has become a global buzzword, especially as the world is facing its biggest ever energy crisis and the threat of climate change. Change is turning into a reality. Hydrogen is the most abundant element in the universe, but pure or elemental hydrogen is very scarce. It almost always exists in compounds like with oxygen to form H2O or water. But when electric current is passed through water, it splits it into elemental oxygen and hydrogen through electrolysis. And if the electricity used for this process comes from a renewable source like wind or solar, then the hydrogen thus produced is referred to as green hydrogen. Colors attached to hydrogen indicate the source of electricity used to derive the hydrogen molecule. For instance, if coal is used, it is referred to as brown hydrogen. The mission aims to make India a global hub for production, utilization and export of green hydrogen and its derivatives. Mission will help in India becoming energy independent and in decarbonization of major sectors of the economy. The Union Cabinet, chaired by the Prime Minister Narendra Modi, has approved National Green Hydrogen Mission. The initial outlay for the mission will be Rs 19,744 crores, including an outlay of Rs 17,490 crores for the strategic interventions for green hydrogen transition site program, Rs 1,466 crore for pilot projects, Rs 400 crore for research and development, and Rs 388 crore towards other mission components. Ministry of New and Renewable Energy, MNRE, will formulate the scheme guidelines for implementation of the respective components. The mission will result in the following likely outcomes by 2030. It would lead to development of green hydrogen production capacity of at least 5 MMT, that is million metric ton per annum, with an associated renewable energy capacity addition of about 125 gigawatt in the country. Total investments would be over rupees 8 lakh crore in total investments. This will lead to creation of over 6 lakh jobs. The cumulative reduction in fossil fuel imports over rupees 1 lakh crore and abatement of nearly 50 MMT of annual greenhouse gas emissions. The mission will have wide-ranging benefits, creation of export opportunities for green hydrogen and its derivatives, decarbonization of industrial mobility and energy sectors, reduction in dependence on imported fossil fuels and feedstock, development of indigenous manufacturing capabilities, creation of employment opportunities and development of cutting-edge technologies. India's green hydrogen production capacity is likely to reach at least 5 MMT per annum with an associated renewable energy capacity addition of about 125 gigawatt. The targets by 2030 are likely to bring in over rupees 8 lakh crore investments and create over 6 lakh jobs. Nearly 50 MMT per annum in CO2 emissions are expected to be averted by 2030. The mission will facilitate demand creation, production, utilization and export of green hydrogen. Under the Strategic Interventions for Green Hydrogen Transition Program, site, two distinct financial incentive mechanisms targeting domestic manufacturing of electrolyzers and production of green hydrogen will be provided under the mission. The mission will also support pilot projects in emerging end use sectors and production pathways. Regions capable of supporting large scale production and or utilization of hydrogen will be identified and developed as green hydrogen hubs. An enabling policy framework will be developed to support establishment of green hydrogen ecosystem. A robust standards and regulations framework will be also developed. Further, a public-private partnership framework for R&D, Strategic Hydrogen Innovation Partnership, SHIP, will be facilitated under the mission. R&D projects will be goal-oriented, time-bound, and suitably scaled up to develop globally competitive technologies. A coordinated skill development program will also be undertaken under the mission. All concerned ministries, departments, agencies, and institutions of the central and the state governments will undertake focused and coordinated steps to ensure successful achievement of the mission objectives. Ministry of New and Renewable Energy will be responsible for overall coordination and implementation of the mission.